Let's, let's reverse it. <laughs> no, let us reverse it. I saw when you come on. No, it didn't say that. Well, I, I, I think I Senegal. Mm. Yeah, it's we, we are three picks, right? Three I, picks. I said Ghana, Senegal, or Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Two are home Hungary. already, yeah. and Ghana is still standing. All about you, nah, Cecilia. I, I said Egypt, Algeria, and Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. But so two are home already, so, so one standing. standing. Okay. I said Ghana, Cameroon, and Morocco. Okay, so and Ghana and Cameroon still standing. Still so we're not, so we're not that bad. No, we're not doing so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you didn't pick Senegal or Algeria. No, I didn't call it no, Senegal because you guys are busy calling Senegal. I, I, no, I, I didn't call Senegal. Said, you know, we said they are not turn like. They're not tournament, you know. They have a way of flattering, and deceive. at the end, that's yeah. the way they just like England. Okay. But I agree with so. Joseph. No one, no Definitely. one would have written this script. You know, mm. with sort of I, I was close. I was Cote close. Was, I was coming close. with <laughs> Senegal with all the players. Algeria. 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 I mean, you, you know, going into this competition, everyone seems the likes of Algeria. You know, Ivory Coast to go through uh, to the semis or even get to the final. Mm. But you see, one thing footballers taught us. See. You must play as a unit for you to achieve your goal. It's gone beyond the big names. If you have an, a, a year to it, you must play with him. You must give him good players to work with. And I think for talking about uh, uh, right now, uh, Egypt's good one for them. El Hadri for me, fantastic goalkeeper. The wow. oldest you know, player in the AFCON final, wow. fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I think what is really working for the uh, Egyptians right now is their, uh, I think, the attack. You look at the Mohamed Salah, you expect him you know, to inject his space into every game. And that he has done so far for me. Fantastic player. It's two goals right now. Sends them to the final. We can only wait and see what happens well, on Sunday. What about, let's talk about the coach, though. Um, Hector Cooper. Mm. I mean, mm. we all know his antecedents. He's a right. very, very he's good very coach. Good. Surely, he's influenced their run to the final. Definitely has. I mean, you look at the Hector Cooper. Well experienced when it comes to coaching African teams and beyond. In that one. So far, I think his experience coupled with the fact that the players are very good going forward has pushed Egypt to where they are today. Mm. I totally agree with you. And also, let's mention the hunger. You know, Egypt, after missing Baba. Mm. Three times, yes. so we cannot come to this one and, and, and be looking at their faces. Exactly, uh, so, so they're we, back with we, a we bank. Want to play. And, and take the celebration. <laughs> That's the uh, right uh, uh, yes. After mm. it, too, because you know, they haven't been here for like three, three in a, in a row. They won it three in a row, and of course, they went out three. They didn't come a hat trick of it, balance. and now they are back, you know, and they are in the final. So <laughs> but they won't win this, you know. Ninth uh, final. We will come ninth back to that later. Uh, your prediction. No, just, check, <laughs> just take a look at their record. I mean, <laughs> should they win? They've won it seven times, seven mm. and they've been to eighth final before. Now, now they are ninth final. It tells you that Egypt, any time they get to the final, the only thing that is certain is the fact that. Sometimes they get to win because that's how it favors them. Definitely, and they're they're in your ninth and, final you know, and they're going into seven every times So mm. there's just this something about the Egyptians that look, when I'm coming into the Africa Cup of Nations, as long as they get to that final, there's a possibility that they'll win. That's why the fans are already, not just oh, jubilating that they're in the final, the fact that anytime we get here, uh -huh. we'll go home with no, a trophy. No, I don't think you're <laughs> thinking about that's, winning the title. Right? I, I think this is just the about <laughs> them reaching the final after not participating at the AFCON uh, for a long, long time. time. So that's, you can understand the jubilant sense. Yeah, so, um, I, I mean, they've done their part now, <laughs> Austin, right? Yeah. They're in the final. Mm -hmm. It's now over to Ghana or Cameroon. Cameroon. And, that's, so, and that's why I won't let you talk, Tyler, because okay. I was going to give you that through pass before I go to Joseph. <laughs> Ghana and Cameroon, West African clash, they're massive, and both sides have shown some good discipline yes. at this competition. Tayo, something tells me you think Cameroon will win. No, why would I say that? <laughs> why would I say that when I chose Ghana, Ghana. before the competition mm. started? I'm not, I'm not going to change my, uh, my choice mm. now. Well, I, I, I think for me, Cameroon will go on to win the African Cup of Nations oh. because you look at the set, I'm coming, the set of players in that Cameroon squad, you want to give it to them. These are young and vibrant players. Remember what happened in 2012 when I later, uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, Sunday, I mean, not Stephen Kesha, I beg your pardon, you know, took 13 debutants, if I'm correct, to the Nations mm. Cup. We yeah. all criticized the list. And they went on to win the to African win, Cup right? of Nations. Yeah. Proud to this competition. Don't forget, seven players did pulled out uh, from the Cameroonian well, squad, including other. Liverpool's uh, Joel Matip in that one. And here they are today in the semis. Now, you look at the stats. The last three goals Ghana has considered in the African Cup of Nations have come outside the box. Now, the last four goals that Cameroon has scored in an African final all came outside the box. So you look at it, so they need to be wary of their defense. Talk about the Ghanaian squad. Well, that might not count tonight, but don't forget, well experienced player Abu Trika will be starting tonight. So a lot working for the Cameroonian side. You want to see well experienced Ghanaian side, okay. but you go back to the start again. The last three meetings in an AFCON final, it's all about Cameroon. 
So no. for me, the stats says so, it all. I think Cameroon will go to the, get to the final yeah, and defeat Egypt. You're very sure about mm. that. Okay. But let's see. The, the last time you talked about Arsenal, it wasn't a good result. So I won't take your prediction. <laughs> no, 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 no by a lone goal. And against DR Congo, it was 2 1. That happens to be uh, their Dust. toughest game. And we have the Ayu uh, brothers ensuring that they were on score sheet. And for the Cameroonians, against Burkina Faso, their opening game, it was a 1 0 draw. Against Guinea Bissau, 2 1. Against Gabon, they sent Gabon home. It was goalless. They knew with goalless draw, they will be able to make it to the quarterfinals. And they did. Then against Senegal, Sadio Mane missed a penalty and Cameroon. We're in the semi-final. Joseph, um, let's go back to Joseph. Now, since you're so sure, um, it's about Cameroon, Cameroon, and Cameroon. I mean, mm -hmm. let's talk about your goalkeeper. That's right. Uh, Fabrice the mm. young star, but you're a big fan. Of big fan, Tyler, because... Joseph, you agree. Well, I, I'm a he big fan, yeah. Far. I don't forget, he grew mm. uh, uh, from the ranks of Barcelona, was with the academy for a very long time, more than a decade. He spent with the club. So, mm. it's well expensive. Forget his age at this point. I think this goalkeeper would go places and maybe yeah. push Cameroon. I think Ghana Cameroon might end on the spot. Uh, he might well. come to play tonight, you know, and send them to the final. I mean, he did everything against um, Gabon. Gabon, that's yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah. When yeah. I just saw that goal as result. To get yeah. to, the, to the quarterfinals. Yeah. And the quarterfinals against stepped up when he needed to step up. I mean, you going against Sadio Mane. You, you, I mean, are you put up such confidence? Your reflexes are on point, And then you put your country into I like the story Cameroon is trying to tell us. They're reminding us again that just it's not just one, two, three, or four players that can play football. Eleven, Eleven. Yeah. players play football. Exactly. I don't forget they are under rebuilding process. They're yes. trying to, you know, uh, uh, groom young stars, you know, to to become the future of the indomitable Lions at this point. Don't forget they're doing a lot with their under-17 and under-20 teams. So I think these players, you know, will progress to the senior national team and conquer Africa once again. Mm. That's that penalty to save again from Ondua. Wow. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> Sayo Mane, uh, I was... Uh, uh, we, uh, no, uh, yeah, it wasn't a very good penalty, okay? Yeah, but, but it's it like to give good. credit to the, to the goalkeeper. To the goalkeeper yes. because okay. the reflexes were good and all of mm. that. This Sports this morning on Channels Television. We're giving attention to the 2017 African Cup of Nations. Let's take a breather now. When we come back, we'll talk some more. Don't go anywhere. Stay.